It started as a joke, but then went too far. Bigfoot? Sasquatch? No, I'm talking about an academic paper. This academic paper proves that Bigfoot cannot exist. How? Because of niches or niches. What are niches and why do they matter? A niche or niche is a description of how an organism or population can acquire resources. This includes the location and type of resources. Other factors include competition, predators, parasites, and pathogens. I like to think of a niche as what a species eats and where a species lives. An important rule of niches is that one species can only occupy one niche. If two species occupy the same niche, one of three things will happen. One of the species will die, one of the species will move away, or one of the species will change its diet. Now back to Bigfoot. This paper found the geographic range of Bigfoot. It used the sightings of Bigfoot data and ecology software to map it out. The team then showed the range and overlapped it with the range of black bear. The two species live in the same location. This is pretty compelling evidence that the existence of Bigfoot would be hard to explain. Now this is only half of the niche. We don't know what a Bigfoot would eat because we've never found one, if it does exist. Most people believe that it's a herbivore and would eat foods similar to a bear. If this is true, this disproves Bigfoot. Now again, this is only half of the niche. What are some explanations for the existence of Bigfoot? Well, one is people are misidentifying black bears as Bigfoot, and this is why they would have the same range. Another explanation is that Bigfoot does exist, but eats a completely different diet than black bear. This is a little difficult to explain since we don't know that diet and foods that would be high in calories would probably be eaten by black bears anyway. There's a third explanation. There is another species that also lives in this geographic range and that's Homo sapien, humans. It could also be that humans misidentify humans either mistakenly or with intent as Bigfoot. Why did the academic team write this paper? They did it to show the importance of quality data and where people can make mistakes in modeling ranges. What do you think? Are you convinced now that Bigfoot doesn't exist? If so, or if not, comment below. Thanks for watching.